the Pump Patrol tonight, gas prices are inching closer to $5 a gallon. According to AAA, today's national average for a gallon of regular unleaded is $4.97. That's two cents more than it was yesterday. A full quarter more than it was a week ago. North Carolina, the average is 4.65, up two cents from yesterday and 26 cents from a week ago. And in Raleigh, the average is 4.67 a gallon. Of course, if you buy anything then regular unleaded, if you get premium or mid grade, oh, what a mess. you already pass five dollars. Yep, and the rising gas prices are leading many people to consider going electric. CBS 17's Brea Hollingsworth live for us tonight outside of a gas station. Brea, how bad are the prices where you are right there? Yeah, Rod. Well, outside this gas station in Raleigh, uh, prices have hit about 467. We're at the Exxon off of Atlantic Avenue, so it's not quite the $5 national average, but it is getting quite close. Amid those higher prices, though, more people are pushing to get electric vehicles. The federal government is pushing to bring about 500,000 electric vehicle charging stations across the country. When Jake Poisty bought his Tesla last year, he told me he wasn't expecting gas prices to spike a year later. Today, he's happy to be driving electric. Not paying ga for gas when it's uh, five bucks or whatever it is, uh, is really definitely a, a big bonus and helps with the budget. The Biden administration announcing today steps to build a first ever network of 500,000 electric vehicle chargers across the country. Poisty told me as an electric vehicle driver, there's a need for more chargers here in central North Carolina and in Raleigh. North Hills has a decent a number, uh, but other places like that, um, you know, uh, Crabtree Mall doesn't have any, um, really any places where people come often are the prime place. So why are electric vehicles becoming so popular? John Heaster, owner of Heaster Automotive Group, took us on a ride along to show us himself. When you're slowing down in this car, it's charging the battery. So there, you know, the technology is advancing so fast. Keister told me right now EVs make up two to three percent of the industry, but he expects to see more as the demand becomes even greater and more technology like charging stations become available. You know, they're efficient. Uh, they have less moving parts. So uh, it's a great direction for us to go and we're headed that way. Now, I spoke with drivers here, and I asked them if these high prices are pushing them to look into electric vehicles. A couple of them told me yes, but the majority of them told me they are not quite there yet. Why high gas prices are pushing some people to cut back on other forms of spending. I'll have that for you tonight at 6. In Raleigh, Brea Hollingsworth, CBS 17 News. Brea, thank you very much. We appreciate it.